Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and today we'll be talking about a Cypress all new feature called as Test Replay with Cypress Cloud. So this is an all new feature as I told it is just released like a couple of hours before and I'm going to show you what this feature is going to be basically doing. So basically if you are going to be working with Cypress Cloud you know that there are so many different features available in Cypress Cloud but this Cypress Test Replay brings the robust local debugging experience into Cypress Cloud dramatically accelerating time to resolution by improving root cause analysis of failures and flaky tests. So using this feature, developers can play, pass, rewind, or inspect their test code just like they would locally in their machine. So that's how the Cypress test replay is gonna work. So if you're using the older version of Cypress, pretty much like Cypress version 12 or something, you will be seeing this message in Cypress cloud right now. But if you'll be using the version number 13, and above you'll be getting this feature automatically so that is what this all new feature is all about so i'll quickly show you what this feature is and how we can utilize this within our cypress test projects so for doing that i'm first going to go and search for the cypress replay option so you'll be first noticing there is this new link called a cypress uh, doc with replay.io and i'll get to this later on but this feature as i'm talking about like five hours before they announced this new cypress 13 test replay feature which is what we are going to be discussing basically so as i told you the local development experience you can see within the cypress cloud itself and this can help you see what has really gone through or what has gone wrong during the execution in the ci cd pipeline not just as a video but even more interactive like you can even inspect your application you can debug the test failures and also you can see the live browser experience everything within the cypress cloud straight away that is the whole idea of this particular cypress cloud well again while we were searching for the cypress replay option we got this particular link the replay.io this is a feature which is like an all new tool really that you got to be installing the new cypress so that you can get this cypress replay experience but right now this feature is somehow being hijacked and baked into the cypress cloud itself for you for free for now and again, if you are already aware of this particular tool and if you're already using it, you probably know how much you would have spent on this particular tool. And while this whole experience of the Cypress replay is available right now within the Cypress itself. But again, if you already have this license, you could probably use that with the Playwright, Puppeteer, and Selenium WebDriver, Ivo, or Jest. But just the Cypress feature is now baked inside over here in the Cypress cloud itself. Well, as that said, I'm going to quickly jump into the Cypress uh, test cloud and I will show you how it's going to be looking like. So for that, I'm just going to go to the cloud.cypress.io. You got to be having this account for sure. You should be. And then you should see this particular feature coming in. And you can also see that they also have a small pop-up window here showing that they have this particular test replay option. And over here, if I go to any of the project and if I just show you the older version of Cypress that I have got, which I have not even upgraded yet, you will see that the test replay option is not available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go into the project update it to version 13 of Cypress and then we will see how the execution is going to look like. But you see that even before while we were using the Cypress version 12, we used to get this video options, screenshot options and create issue kind of stuff. But right now you also have got a test replay option. So I will show you how cool it is. So in order to get to that, I'm going to go to my github.com of execute automation where we already have a repo configured with the Cypress cloud, which is going to point to the test execution. And I'm going to go to this particular repository and the Cypress CI CD basic and this particular workflow. By the way, if you're going to be going even further deeper uh, about like where these particular discussions are being done, you can just go ahead and search for end to end testing with Cypress Udemy, something like this. And you will see that is this second link or probably yeah this one maybe you will see that this is the course which i have been discussing about cyprus and there are so many students enrolling in that and you can see that whatever new feature that you see in the cyprus version 12 is already covered in this particular course and we also have scenarios and discussions especially on the cyprus cloud as well so go ahead and watch those details which is going to be very very helpful for you to learn how you can integrate cyprus tests from github all the way to Cypress Cloud and vice versa. Well, as I said, that's about the course and I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here for this particular repo as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my code 
in the VS Code, I think I have my VS Code opened over here. So you can see that this is version 12. So I'm gonna go and change this to version 13. I'm gonna save this uh, and I'm gonna go to my GitHub repo. Um, so I'm gonna update this package.json with version 13.x and I'm gonna commit to main. I'm gonna push this uh, to the origin. And once I do that, this code should be in my repo right now. So if I go to GitHub Actions, you should see that the CI CD should be kicked in. There we go. It just queued up. And you see that the executions are happening at the moment in parallel with multiple different containers so that it's going to act like a parallel test machines, which is then going to be uh, reduce our test execution time frame. And that's the power of Cypress as well, because there is this baked in parallel execution support in Cypress, which is going to make our life much easier. But as I said, if I just go to the build and you see that this execution is happening, the good thing about this whole execution is that it is going to not only just run the test, it's also going to spawn our application under test, which is the test application, which we test within our Cypress. So you also have an power or ability to spawn our whole application under test along with it. But not only this application we're going to be running, but we'll also be pointing it to some uh, cloud-based application which is like out of this particular application domain so that execution is also going to happen over here so you see that now the application is spawned and if I go to the Cypress cloud over here and if I see the test execution should just come in and if I refresh it maybe the test execution is not kicked in yet yeah you see that the Cypress test is still running it's not there yet so just wait for this whole execution to kick in there we go now you can see that it is version 13 of cypress uh, and now if i try refreshing this and you can see that we have this update of package.json coming in and if i go here and this time if i go to the test result and if i choose any one of the tests you should see there is a test replay option coming in this replay option is coming in right now because we have version 13 so that is the new feature which I was talking about and that's what we are going to be looking at over here. So if we go to this particular test replay option, do you see that we have a local experience of this particular Cypress test runner over here? So this is the same Cypress dashboard or Cypress test runner that we used before to develop within our local machine. We get that over here. We also see that the application eaapp.swami.com for some reason is throwing us an internal server error and that's the reason why this is failing and you can see that we get the whole error here you can also see there is a console log and console inspect if you wanted to you can do quite exactly the same kind of option that we used to get or do within our local machine so you can see all those details coming in and if we go back and see any of the parsing test so if i just go to the ea web app testing over here and if i click this test replay you see that we get the whole execution coming in over here along with the attempts as well. So if there is like four attempts going to happen, so it's going to show you all the four attempts as well. And if you just play this execution, you can also see that what is really going on during the test execution, which is quite awesome and neat. And you see that now the application test execution is actually pointing to my local application, which is running in our Docker container, which was running as a previous job, which is awesome as well. And now you can also see there is an, a network request which is happening across during the test execution. You can also see the XHR, the console log if you wanted to. So you get all those details over here, pretty much like how we can do it in our local machine. And I'm quite impressed with this new feature of Cypress Replay because this is going to make our life much, much easier. And it is going to improve our debugging capability within our Cypress much much faster than it was before without this particular feature so in ci cd we know that the test execution fails we always go and watch the video but now with this test replay option we can not only watch the video but also we can go ahead and see what's really going on during that test execution in ci cd pipeline that is awesome so hope you guys like this particular feature of cypress new test replay option in cypress 13 let me know what is your thoughts about this particular feature but I'm sure this is quite exciting and quite cool, pretty much like the rest of the feature which Cypress introduced before. Thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.